Hello and welcome back to another Lightroom 101 video. Today we're going to be looking at the presence category. This includes clarity, vibrance, and saturation, and these are really simple, so it shouldn't take very long. All right, let's jump right into it. Clarity is just basically a contrast for um, details. I forget exactly how it describes it, but um, I'll show you right now. So in minor like little details like these threads in this hat, it's gonna accentuate the contrast to try to basically make them stand out uh, a lot more. You can see it really makes them pop a lot. Now clarity is something that's really interesting um, because a lot of beginners and me included when I first started overuse clarity a lot because it actually it's like when you're doing it you're like oh this is cool this looks like my image pops it looks like it has more detail and stuff um, but you can very easily go over in fact I normally only use if I do it all uh, like like around like 10 clarity that's around where I want to punch it up to um, but in this image I actually wouldn't use any because um, it's already pretty sharp. We can see all pretty much all the details on the hat, the faces. So I'm good with the sharpness and how it looks right now. Um, so I'd leave the clarity. Uh, vibrance, uh, let's actually skip vibrance, let's go to saturation. Saturation is just the overall color in your image. So if we take it down, you can see it goes towards black and white until we hit minus 100 and then it is black and white. Then we can go up and we're just putting tons of color way over saturating everything As you can tell this is like red and no one's nose is completely red and this hat is like completely yellow so this is just a unrealistic way too much saturation and this also happens with um, some beginners they do a lot so it's just good to go take a break edit something else come back see if your image is exactly what you want it might be uh, you might have overdone it so and then let's go to vibrance. So vibrance is essentially saturation, except it tries to preserve skin tones. So say I were to bring it all the way down, you can still see some red, just barely. Let me bring it back up just a tad. For instance, right around here, we can see some orange, yellows, browns. Yeah, all the stuff that you would normally find in skin tones is remaining uh, unaffected. Um, so, and if we can, we can take that up way too high as well. And it's just real nasty because it's, it's specifically targeting, um, things in the face that aren't normally skin tones. So if we have a little bit of red in this area, it's going to bring that out. If we have a little bit of pink, blue, purple. It's going to bring that out like crazy. But as you can see, it's still not affecting things that are normally skin tones, her skin tone. Um, some areas in the hair, but yeah, that's about it. So for clarity, vibrance, and saturation, honestly, I don't touch them very often, but you can, and they are useful in some circumstances. Let me pull up an image where that's the case. All right, so uh, please excuse the a little bit of a weird photo shoot, but this is actually a perfect example of how to use these tools, so I kind of need to use it. I like this image a lot, but um, sorry if you don't like blood. Let me tell you why this is actually a really good image to give this example with. Um, we were using uh, fake blood and not anything in post, so I wanted to show off that we could actually still see the skin detail um, through the blood, so I want to actually push that clarity a little bit to like 20 something, almost 30. And then I wanted to bring out the reds even more without bringing out too much else like I didn't want these greens to be too vibrant so what I did is I pushed up the clarity I'm sorry the saturation um, more than I would ever and then I pulled down the vibrance so we're affecting more of the green tones and the non skin tones um, but we're leaving the red being very saturated that way the the photo has more of an impact so let me just show you before and after that's before and that's after all right, that's it for this category. I hope you learned how to use it and what to do with it and what not to do with it. Uh, if you like these tutorials, uh, stick around. I am making a bunch of Lightroom 101s right now. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, thanks for watching.